Hey kids, it's Papa. You ready to explore the Bible? All right. Great. Take your Bibles and turn with me to 1 Samuel chapter 9. 1 Samuel chapter 9. Now remember, the, the elders of the children of Israel had come to Samuel and said, give us a king. And Samuel had said, no, God is your king. And they said, yeah, but we want to be like all of the other nations around us. And why would God's chosen people want to be like all of the people around them? Okay, but in any case, um, so what, what they did was, uh, you know, Samuel went to God and God said, yeah, this is wrong, but I'm going to give them what they want and send leanness to their soul because what they want is not going to be best for them. And Samuel was brokenhearted, but we're going to jump ahead because in 1 Samuel chapter 9, we find that the, the scene shifts. And now God's talking about a young man by the name of Saul. And Saul was a uh, was a, a young man from the tribe of Benjamin, and uh, he was. The Bible says that he was goodly. In other words, he was good looking. He was tall. Everybody liked him. Uh, he was goodly. The Bible says that he was so tall that his head and his shoulders stuck up above everyone else. Now, people like leaders that are big, uh, and it, it's just a thing. Okay, and and so. Saul would have made a, a great leader. And so uh, Saul uh, was a, a obedient son. And his father, Kish, came to him and said, Hey, uh, Saul, we've lost a couple of our donkeys and we want you to go find them and uh, take a servant and, and go find them. So they went and they looked where they thought they were and they weren't there. And they went farther and they weren't there. And they went farther and they weren't there. And after a couple of days, uh, Saul said to the servant, You know what? Uh, we better head back or my father's going to start worrying about us instead of his donkeys. And as they went, um, the, uh, the servant said, hey, you know what? There is a, a village right here and there is a, a seer that's supposed to be here, a prophet that's supposed to be here. Let's go and, and see if he's there. And so they approached the village and they saw some girls out at the well in there drawing wet water. And they said, hey, is the, uh, the seer around? And they said, yeah, he's coming back and he's going to be, uh, you know, coming to uh, the village today for a feast. And there's an offering going to be given. And so Saul and his servant went up towards the village. Now, the day before, God had come to Samuel and said, Samuel, tomorrow at this time, I am going to introduce you to the one that I have chosen to be the next king. And so we find that uh, Samuel's walking up to the village. And as he's approaching the gate, he sees these two young men, and one of them is really tall. And and God whispers in his ear and says, this one, this tall one, this one is the one I want you to anoint king over Israel. And so Samuel walked up to uh, Saul and, and Saul said, hey, we're, we're looking for the prophet, the seer. And, uh, and Samuel said, that's me. I'm, I'm the, the, uh, the prophet. And, uh, and Samuel said, uh, but then, excuse me, not Samuel. Saul started to talk with Samuel, cut him off and said, wait a minute. He said, why don't you go up to the feast and you're going to eat with me at the feast. And then tomorrow I am going to tell you everything that's in your heart. I am going to tell you about your future. And, uh, and he said, don't worry about the donkeys because the donkeys have already been found. And, and Saul was going like, how did he know about the donkeys? Uh, but he realized this is the seer and this is the prophet and he wants me to eat with him. Yeah, I like the idea of eating with him. So he went on up. And as they went up the hill and went to the village and the sacrifice took place, and, uh, and as they made the sacrifice, uh, Samuel took the, the shoulder of the sacrifice and said, uh, I want you to cook this and set this aside because uh, we're going to give this as the honored portion to somebody. And so later on, they all went to the feast and as they brought out all of the portions and set them in front of the people and there were big hunks of meat, it was great. They brought, out Sam, uh, they brought out the one to Samuel and Samuel said it goes to this guy, Saul. And they put this huge shoulder, huge, massive chunk of meat on Saul's plate and he was like, wow, this is great. And, uh, and so we find that the next day, Saul, Samuel met Saul 
and said, let's go down the hill a little ways and then we're going to talk. And as they went down the hill a little ways, Saul anointed him king of Israel. Now, uh, in two days, we'll talk about uh, what that meant and how it worked out. But I want you to understand that this was not God's first choice. We have God's per permissive will, and that's the will that he will allow. And sometimes we say, no, I want my will. And God says, well, okay, that's God's permissive will. But then there's God's perfect will. And this is the will that is best for us. This is what, where if we seek God's perfect will and he shows us what he wants us to do and we do it, it's good, acceptable, and perfect. And that's what you need for your life. Don't be asking yourself, wait a minute, what do I want? Or what do my friends want me to want? No, ask yourself, wait a minute, what does God want for my life? Because whatever he wants for your life is best for you. Okay, do you believe that? Okay, now start living it. Because how does God want you to treat your, your, uh, your brother and your sister? Yeah, how, how, does, how does God want you to obey your parents? Yeah, you start doing what you know of God's will and he will show you his will when the time comes. He's very good at that. And so understand that we need to seek God's perfect will. Okay, you willing to do that? Yeah, I am. Let's do it. All right, hey, love you guys. See you later. Bye-bye.